The previous video in this particular playlist created a program called Hello World.py, which we can see here. And we can see that the name is shown here, Hello World.py. And within this particular program, we have a message variable to which we assign the string Hello World. And then we print that message to the screen. And when we do so, it'll simply output Hello World. So we come here to run. We come down here to where it says run module, or we can press F5 on the keyboard. Now, when we press F5 on the keyboard or click onto this particular pull down menu here, the program will run. And when it will run, it will do precisely what we expect. It'll do this. It'll produce the output Hello World. If we have a look at the string here, we can see that they're in double quotes. And that's one of the ways in which we can produce a string within Python code. However, there is another way. What we can do, we can actually write it out as shown here or type it in here. And you can see I've put a single quote there. Now, when you put single quotes and then run the program, what will happen is exactly what happened last time. We will get the output, hello world. Now, you have a choice as to which particular approach you take, either using the single quotes or the double quotes. People tend to use the single quotes, as you see here. There's a little bit more to the use of quotes within Python, but this will do for the time being. We'll introduce the ways in which strings can be created later in this particular series of videos. I'm now going to go to the Hello World program and I'm going to highlight this string here and I'm going to replace it with the following input and then I'm going to open a bracket and within here I'm going to input a user friendly string, a prompt that will help the user of the program decide what they have to do next. And you can see I'm typing this in, I put a colon there, then a space, then I close that particular string and then finish off with a bracket as you can see. What I'll then do, I'll come here to run and I'll run the module and down here you can see it'll say source must be saved, click OK. So that's what I'll do, I'll click OK and it saves the program. And what will happen, it then runs and as you come down here you can see that it says please enter a message. Now what I intend to do now is simply enter the message, so I'll enter spam, 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 hit return, and you can see the program has returned with the output spam, spam, spam. And what we can see here is a mechanism that allows the user of the programs we write as programmers to supply data to those particular programs. And this line here is the mechanism that allows us to do that particular task. Let's have a look at the program. This allows the programmer to specify that the user is to enter data at the keyboard. This is a user-friendly prompt to assist the user of the program. If this wasn't here, the user would see effectively a blank screen and we're wondering what they should be doing next. So this gives them a prompt. It's standard practice to have a space here. If we didn't have a space here in the user-friendly prompt, then whatever the user entered would be rammed right up against the user-friendly prompt. Now, whatever the user entered is stored in this variable here called message, which I like to show as a box. That's called message. Now, of course, when this particular program ran, the user entered spam, spam, spam as we can see here. So stored within this particular variable, we have the string spam, spam, spam. Now, what will happen now is this particular line will execute print message. And of course, message stores spam, spam, spam. Now, when the program runs, the contents of that message will be displayed on the screen as we can see here.